I'm, you guys aren't, you're not, you're not listening to me. Okay, this is, this is, there's, there's a truth here that you're not getting at, okay? These weapon theories are nonsense. They're silly urban legends promulgated by people who need to believe that everything in the Bible is true. In 1932, a man named Mitchell Siegel is shot and killed by gunshots to the chest. While mourning the death of his father, his young son comes up with the idea of a bulletproof man, which he calls Superman. And that's why the world got Superman, not because America is the greatest country on earth. It's because a little boy lost his father. But the gun used in this unsolved murder, and this is true, has still never been found. So what are these two murders, separated by a thousand of, of years? One of them is Cain, arguably sort of the uh, you know world's greatest villain. The other, Superman, arguably the world's greatest hero. Uh, what do these murders have in common? Legend said God knew the flood was coming, and he asked Adam to put all earthly knowledge in a book. Supposedly, all the answers are in something called the Book of Lies. Modern Bibles have it all wrong. Cain is not the bad guy in this story. Mitchell Siegel died for a reason. Abel died for a reason. It's the history of good and evil. The history of hero and villain. The Book of Lies is real. It's real. Real. The Book of Lies does not exist. If you have faith in this sort of nonsense, you're very easily influenced. You probably still look for tooth fairy cash under your pillow. You don't, okay, you don't believe me? You don't have to believe me. Well, I don't know why you came here, but we're done, okay? We're they ask Jerry Siegel over and over again every imaginable question when it comes to the creation of Superman, but not once, not ever, does he uh, even think to mention that his father is murdered by criminals. Uh, don't you think there's a story there? <laughs>